because Hagler's going to box him, going to outmaneuver him. And Hagler's right jab is very effective here. He's scoring at will. Very sharp early on. Two jabs right there that Hampshire tries to duck under at 10. I don't believe Hagler has missed a right hand in the fight. And scores twice again and comes with the left hand on the top of the head. And another good right hand that stands Hamshow straight up. Coming up on the 30-second mark here, and Hagler draws a warning to keep his hands up. And a right hand stands him up again. Marvin Hagler looking extremely sharp here. Hamshow tries to crowd him now, and Hagler covers up and gets out of there inside the 20-second mark, round one. Round two, schedule 15 rounder, middleweight championship of the world. Hagler right to work with the right hand again against Hamshow. And a left hand scores, and Hagler goes after him. Hampshire swarming Hagler now against the rope. Showing a little offense of his own, but swinging wildly. Hagler can change up. He's versatile, he can box, and most of all, he can punch. So Hampshire trying to get inside, being a little bit more effective early in the second round here, doing that than he was in the first. Right hand catches Hampshire backing away. And again, a right hand to the side of the head of Hampshire, keeping him away, keeping him off balance. Left hand scores for Hagler. Because Hampshire is capable of throwing punches from any direction. He can hit you in the body, in the back of the head. Um, I'd rather fight him on the outside. Combination again stuns Hampshire. It's going to take his toll completely. Another right hand getting right in on the chin of Mustafa Hampshire. Hampshire fights back, tries to swarm again, takes two shots, gives one. Hampshire, the kind of guy who'll give up a couple of punches to get in a couple. He's been likened to Jake LaMotta, likened to Harry Grimm. Keeping his man off balance. And a right hand scores, but a counter punch by Hampshire scores on a Hagler. At this point now, it's not worth your health. Hampshire has been like, or rather, Hagler has been like a surgeon here. There's no question about it. Again, scores two more times. Well, Hampshire tried to stop the fight from the very beginning, and we see Marvin still in there. All you're going to see now is pretty much a boxing lesson. You're going to see Bob his his talent. Blood showing under the left eye of Hampshire now, as well as on top of the left eye. And there's a short right hand that I'm amazed Hampshire could stand up under. That was a heck of a punch. The bleeding seemed to have stopped a little bit. And he just landed a pretty good shot on Hazard's chin and it uh, makes the cut worse, it opens the cut up. Plus, he have a better chance of setting uh, Hampshire up for a combination. And there's a right hand that sends Hampshire really. Hampshire comes right back up and sticks his tongue out. And around seven. Um, solid right hand and bang, he comes right back with it. Hagler had his man off balance and hit him with a, hit him a ton with a right hand, and Hampshire didn't go down. Back against the ropes goes Hampshire now. Hagler is really being like a surgeon, and Hampshire has taken it all. Three punches right on the nose. Downstairs, then the right hand upstairs, and that wobbles the knees of Hampshire. That combination there did a lot of damage to Hampshire. A lot of good foot speed. He really can move. He's been up on his toes. He's fought flat-footed. He's changed styles. He's changed hands. He has a right hand by Hampshire that grazes the chin. And he takes one back on the chin to the right hand by Hagler. Hagler beginning to score with the left hand a little bit now. And a combination once again by Marvin Hagler. And Hampshire's back in his own corner as the ninth round comes to an end. Left hand scores, and I think you probably heard the sound of that as clearly as I did here. Halfway through round 10. Right hand uppercut just stood the head of Mustafa Hamso, snapped it right back. And a combination again and another right hand, and the crowd comes alive. And another right hand in the face of Hamso. Hamso continues to bore in on the champion Marvin Hagler, who scores once more. Left hand by Hamsho, right up on the cut of Marvin Hagler. Wild right hand, and now a right hand to the body of Hamsho. Hamsho has his manager against the ropes. Hagler pounds on him. And a right hand a little bit short by Hagler, who is now stalking Hamsho. Left hand to the ribs and a right to the face. Hamsho back against the ropes. And now the steam seems to have gone from Mustafa Hamsho. Right hand again, and another right hand, and Hamsho's legs go again. 
continues to pound away to the body. Now they have with the right hand. Hampshire tries to fight his way off the ropes. Uppercut scores by Marvin Hagler and another right hand to the face and the eyes continue to bleed and Mustafa Hamsho. Hagler combination scoring at will. Crowd is alive. Right hand to the face once more of Hamsho. Trying to do what he can to keep the attack of Marvin Hagler off of him but there is very little he can do right now. Just trying to measure him. Keep him away. Hagler scores with the right hand even so. And another right hand and yet another. Combinations of punches by the champion. Tries to go downstairs. Comes up a right hand snaps his head back. Hampshire is against the ropes, takes another right hand, and an uppercut. Hampshire's corner is up, and they are saying, that's it, that's all. Braverman is saying, stop it. The referee does so. The fight is over, and Marvin Hagler has retained his undisputed middleweight championship of the world. Well, at this point now, Hagler's in complete control, and he displays uh, so much talent here. As we see Hampshire trying to line up Hagler with a punch, Hagler scores a straight uh, left right hook, rather. I think one of the most remarkable things, and I think this is a sign of any great champion, Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, that when you have the man in trouble, you don't waste punches. And Marvin Hagler did not waste a punch tonight. Well, Hagler took advantage of the opportunity. He had his man hurt, and he took care of business. So Marvin Hagler retaining the middleweight championship of the world, doing so in most impressive fashion. And you get one more look here at the end for Mustafa Hamshaw. And you can't use the phrase enough, he was dead game, but there was nothing he could do. He was just in.